Shelby Bonnie. I'm the host of the Innovator Series, brought to you by Technology for Obama. And we have the great pleasure of being with Drew Houston today, who's the co-founder and CEO of Dropbox. Dropbox, I think for many of us, one of the most amazing applications that exists. Uh, close to a billion files served per day. That's right. Uh, and uh, has raised over $250 million. So actually one of the, also the great darlings of the investment community in the Valley. So we're so glad to have you. Yeah, it's good to be here. So it's been, I mean, Dropbox, I think for many of us, has been one of the true innovations that have really changed all of our lives. I'm curious as a CEO, how do you go about making sure that your organization remains innovative as you continue to add people and grow? Mm. Uh, well, I think it really, um, some of the, the most common advice we got some f from uh, our early advisors and investors, people who had built amazing companies, uh, you know, uh, the, one of the pieces of advice I got was, he's like, all right, I have 10 pieces of advice for you. Hire the best people, hire the best people, and, and so on, yeah. you know. And so it was really for us about, um, that, that was a recurring theme, just, you know, have a fat, you know, the, the founders having a morbid fascination with the products and uh, getting the very best engineers and people in general into the company. And so uh, we spend so much time on that, you know, finding the absolute best engineers, the best designers, um, the best product people. Um, and, and, and it's something we, we care immensely about. And do you think about yourself as kind of innovator in chief, or do you really think about, no, I've got an organization and my job is to actually corral all of these ideas mm -hmm. and figure out the best? I, I think it's a, a little bit of both. Um, you know, in, in my job, it, it, it's all the way from uh, working, hand, or thinking about hands-on details of how should this product work, all the way to, you know, how do we build this machine for the next hundred years that will, you know, not just create the products but create the markets and attract the people and and, and so on. So, I think you have to get involved at kind of each of the layers. So you you've about tripled your employee base in the last. Uh, year, Last is that year. Right? That's right. Okay, so triple employee base. So adding all of those people, how do you go about maintaining culture? How do you, I mean, what things do you do to make sure that as you add that many people, you stay true to kind of what you stand for and who you are? That's that's another thing we worry a lot about. Um, well, first is uh, things that are implicit have to become more explicit over time, especially when you're, you know, you have a situation where in the last six months, half the company hadn't even been there. Uh, or, or hadn't been there six months before that. And so w among the things we do are, uh, we, we've, we're going through this exercise right now of actually taking our values, which were kind of implicit before, and the things we care about, or what we look for, and, and we call our team Dropboxers, uh, and uh, like really codifying them. And, 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 and so, um, and finding ways to, uh, you know, even if someone joined in the last three weeks, like provide a really crisp distillation of what it means to be this company and what we're trying to do. Um, and so it's, it's and, and we also remind the team as well that it's not just my or my co-founder's responsibility, but if there are things you like about this place, um, it's all of our job to kind of carry the torch. And, and uh, Silicon Valley has had a bunch of good mechanisms for, for ways to do that. And what, you know, if you look back on some of kind of the, the real innovations around Dropbox, what couple things might you point to? Well, I think that the the first the f sort of first thing was really just kind of this idea of a magic folder, which eliminated all the other stuff you had to do um, to keep track of all your photos and documents and so on. Um, and so now going forward, I think the, the major innovations you're going to see are really around um, where Dropbox will, on the one hand, do more to help you organize and manage and share all of those different things. Um, and if you think about things like your photos, like this is how you remember your life. Um, if you think about your documents, these are like this is your life's work. This is how you collaborate. Um, this is these are the things that are most important to you. And and, um, and and I think one thing we think about is, in a sense, even though people had problems with kind of keeping track of their stuff, they didn't realize it. And so for a lot of people, they use Dropbox and they're like, oh, this solves a problem I didn't even know I had. Um, and we think there are opportunities to do that in all kinds of other areas. So well, really extending our reach. Well, based on a bunch of passionate. Uh, users, we all look forward to seeing where Dropbox goes. So it's a real Great. pleasure to be here with you, and thank you so much, girl. Thanks.